right? The first one is just identifying which one of these makes sense, which is like you using logic on the number line. And then we're using increments of two. That means our scale is two tenths. <coughs> and plotting those, okay? We're gonna start off as independent and then we'll have time with work partners in the end, okay? So let's go 10 minutes, let's go eight minutes independent to begin with, all right? Let's see, ever working the best. You don't need to get my attention once you finish the first page. You go on to the next page. Dodge right a pass. I'm going to go ahead and check with a couple students right away, okay? Yeah, exactly. So, which is B going to be a positive or a negative? How do you know? How do you know? Yeah, so what, what are you crossing out immediately? <laughs> two negatives than it could be. Let's see where it is. So three is over here. Show me like where negative three. Let's say this thing not forever. Where would negative three be? About. If you've moved past, please, please do Mr. Myers a solid and flip your page back and let's check to see if Dimby's work looks tight on the first page. Two people agreeing. I see you. Our condition for engagement if you're showing me anything about what you're thinking. I appreciate you. Uh, Muawiya and Marcus. What's up, Muawiya? Got it, Marketing addition for engagement. That's my favorite, I love it when people recognize their own mistakes. That's beautiful, that shows me that they're thinking. Marcus. Um, so basically, my question is, were you supposed to actually like write the fraction, or were you supposed to put um, zero for, I mean. Oh, you mean like you put a decimal, like that? Marketing addition for advocating, if you put, use a decimal, that's completely fine. If you use a fraction, that's cool too because they're equivalent. Marcus, welcome to this thought. If you have decimals, that works for me. The key is that it says the opposite of 8 tenths right. So 8 tenths is over here. So we're plotting the opposite of negative 8 tenths. Your dot here should be right in between 2 and 3. Okay? And then, of course, you should have C circled here. The way I was teaching this was that if this is 3 over here, opposite of 3 is about the same distance, right? That means negative three would be bad over here. And if I break this up like this, that's negative two, that's negative one, and that's somewhere between zero and negative one. This is not completely accurate. I'm not, I'm, it's not a perfect scale for me, but it's easy to tell that it's C and not D. You should have crossed out A and B immediately, right? Because those two are positive numbers. We're talking about the other side of zero. Cool, Mecca? Yeah. She plotted the point and two and one half. Uh huh. When it says negative two and one half. Well, it says the, the opposite of the opposite, so it's still. So what's, so what's the deal? Show of hands. Who can, who can break this down for me? We got some dissension in the ranks. Who can break it down for me? Mark addition for engagement. Your hands in the air. Who can explain what Amek is talking about? Richard? What he's saying is that the opposite of the opposite of negative two and one half. It's going to be negative two and one half because if you do, if you go over to two and one half, the positive two and one half, then you go back because the opposite of negative two and one half is two and one half, but then the other opposite is two and one half. So 
Yeah. For sure, that's a great explanation. It's hard to explain when you're saying opposite so many times. Like when I was teaching this lesson yesterday, I was like opposite of the opposite of the opposite of the opposite. But it's a really good explanation for sure. Whenever you have the opposite of the opposite of something, you're right where you left off, right? You're right where you started. Really good job. I saw Dimby agreeing, so I know that Dimby's on board. Mecca Market Edition for contributing. Um, if you haven't already, Richard Mark Edition for contributing. Well done. And now, if you flip to the next page, to try to solve it on our own, and then I'm gonna let you check in with a partner for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna talk about a whole group. Okay? So I got three minutes on your own. We're gonna check, check with partners for a couple minutes. See if everyone can come to the right conclusion. All right? You're gonna have first filling your numbers up here using this information, and then figure out which one of these sets is all right. Okay? Only one of them is all right. Yeah. So, so Tyler saw his own mistake. 